Yo, what's poppin' everybody? My name is Mojo. Welcome back to another video, my friends. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to be immune to any school in the entire game completely for free. No jade gear, nothing like that. We're talking about not opening packs, anything like that. Completely free in-game items that you can get. You can be immune to any school in the entire game, and it's pretty simple. I'll show you guys right now. So, I'm gonna open up my character, and as you can see, I am immune to death, and I have 99 resistance to life. So, I I mean, I'd say I'm pretty much immune to life. And I also have 79 resistance to uh, myth. Now, this is achieved pretty simple. Um, if I'm going to go to my inventory real quick, I'll show you guys what I'm rocking. So, there's a lot of items in this one row chrysalis or cr chrysalis. I, I don't know how to pronounce it. But there's a lot of items in there that are prone to just having really good resist and, and it, it is crazy i've never really realized it out of all the characters that i've maxed i really never realized how much resist these items really have so this helmet that i'm rocking here literally has 22 resist to three different schools right if i go to my robe this one has 32 to death 19 to, to life 14 to myth now if i go to my boots this one has 21 to death 17 to life and 17 to myth so all three of those gears are like the, the bread and butter of being immune to any school in the entire game and these aren't the only classes that you can get immune to i have this helmet right here which gives me storm ice and in and, and fire you know what i mean and I, I think i also have some boots around here that also do the exact same thing but um all of this gear i actually got from the bazaar i legit just went to the bazaar looked up level i believe it was like level 95 what, what level is this 94 so go to level 94 through like level 100 and something uh for any school that you are that's level 92 that's level 98 um and you pretty much find really good resistance gear and you can achieve high resist just like that but that's not the only gear that i'm rocking um right now i don't have the staff that i want it's the sitch staff it's on my other character i would highly recommend a sitch staff mainly because these gears don't really give much of else other than resistance <clears throat> so i would definitely go out and get the city staff if you want some accuracy and extra power pip um the athame of course a rock and a heart still athame you can get this in colossus boulevard farming the the king glob or whatever his name was king the king guy the, the king glob and colossus boulevard uh my amulet i'm rocking the guten a rope which is the amulet from caramel i think there's a better one out there that gives seven percent universal resistance so that's for death uh, it, it varies for each school i know that ice is like eight fire is probably like six or five or something like that but um yeah the caramel amulet is definitely the one that i would go for if we're talking about resistance for the ring i have these uh these rings that give specific resistance to one school that i crafted which is also in chrysalis um or chrysalis this one is death that one's balanced that one's life um that one is myth uh that one is fire and i also have one for storm right there and for my pet i'm just rocking uh proof to fire with triple uh triple resist um you can mix and match whatever schools you want um furthermore if you would just want specific schools like this one i have one for fire and i also have one for storm only which is somewhere around here uh that i use a lot on corporal titty because i can be completely immune to storm and he's he only has storm spells and his pierce is like insane but i'm immune to it because i have a pet set up just for him so you can do the exact same thing that i did and if you just want resist for one specific school which i highly recommend mainly because most bosses are just one specific school you know what i mean if we go to corporal titty we're looking at storm if we if we go to uh what's that one what's that one boss uh, ethereal element we're looking at ice you know what i mean uh i don't think there's any fire bosses yet which is kind of crazy um but yeah if, if you know i would just go for a specific score resist versus trying to get resist to every single thing uh just out flat that's mainly just a flex in my opinion if we're like if we're talking about like real real wizard 101 scenarios i would just get resist to one specific school unless we're talking about shadow like omen string being all of them are shadow um so yeah but they don't really attack like that but if, if they're all shadows so i would just go universe for that but if we're talking about you know just one specific school boss or whatever i would definitely just go for specific school resist versus trying to get resistance in just every single school so the way that i got these i got them from the bazaar but if you are if you just don't have gold or they're not in the bazaar you can also get them from drops in chrysalis for example uh the helmet that i have right now this is called the helmet of excavation you get the helmet of excavation which is dropped by a lot of mobs in chrysalis so for example if i click on this phantom it's a little little squirrel looking thing and it's dropped in chrysalis if i if i click on the zooka of the swirl leaf this is in chrysalis if i if i click on 
let's see, uh, Rapidal Century. This is also something that's in Chrysalis. So there's a lot of mobs in Chrysalis that drop this helmet. Um, otherwise, you could just go to the bazaar and buy it. And it's the same thing for the robe. Here's the robe. This guy is is a, is a mob, which is where? Chrysalis. And I bought this also from the bazaar. Same thing with the boots. As you can see, this is, you know, a bunch of mobs drop this. We're talking Mango Death. This is in Chrysalis. If we're talking verdin whatever the heck that's that's in chrysalis as well you know what i mean so there's a lot of mobs in chrysalis that drop gear like this for a variety of schools and everything like that um if you don't want to play around with luck i would just go to the bazaar um but if you want to play around with luck just go to chrysalis and just pick something to farm pick a location that has a lot of mobs that you just want to farm over and over and over again and try to get lucky maybe even look up that mob on google to see what their drops are just to make sure that you're not wasting your time and they don't actually drop the thing that you're looking for so just keep that in mind um and it is very school dependent so as you can see here's a balance robe and this balance robe gives a uh, fire ice and storm versus the death robe right here that gives death uh, life in myth so depending on the school you are will depend on the um will depend on the resistance that you can achieve um but i haven't done that much research maybe there is a death robe out there that i just haven't found that's for storm fire ice you know what i mean i i, I really don't know but um just keep that in mind that you don't have to spend money on this game if you want to be immune to a specific school you could just go to chrysalis or go to the bazaar buy specific gear just like this and still achieve you know resistance and as far as my accuracy goes i don't have any accuracy and my power pip is 93 now if i were to have the siege staff instead of my energy staff that i have on right now then that would be 13 accuracy and i think it's like 20 power pips so then i would be sending out like 100 and something power pip which is really good and the accuracy is decent you know you pretty much won't fizzle any spells and you'll be immune to a skull so that's really good for just you know a straight up jade wizard you know what i mean um, this isn't the best for outgoing. Outgoing is a whole different story. We're just talking about resistance and just being immune. This is the go-to. You don't need Jade gear unless you're literally just trying to flex on somebody. Just so, just keep that in mind. Oh yeah, and these rings. Uh, if you guys don't know how to actually craft these rings, I almost missed that. Um, here's a ring, for example. This is the Death, um, the Death Resistance ring. Um, and you get the recipe, the, the Ring of Days Death. You get this recipe from uh, Chrysalis. Uh, the vendor is Wozina, the Edge Cutter. And uh, she or he or whatever the fuck it is, is located in the Sardinix market. Uh, to get to the Sardinix market, all you got to do is here's a map location, you know, find the shrine of Lost Light or the Kondaha Desert. And they're pretty much all in this area if you guys want to actually go to that. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. And you get all the recipes from uh, death ring to, 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 to fire resistance ring, as you can see here. Uh, to balance resistance, to life resistance. You know, there's a lot of resistance rings out there for it. So uh, just keep that in mind. And uh, yeah, I think that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. If you guys have any video ideas for me, like the dude that recommended this one, leave them down in the comments. I'll look at it. I'll try to make a video on it. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day and peace.